Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to show you how to update the firmware to your Logitech receiver. So if you have a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse, you might want to check for a firmware update, especially if you're having trouble. And we started finding this based on this article here on how to fix your mouse cursor jumping or moving randomly while typing, which you can see I'm not doing right now because it ended up being a firmware update fixed my problem. You want to download the 32-bit here or the 64-bit here and the beauty of it is the app is portable it's free and it's pretty safe to do I haven't had any problems with it so let's give it a run once you grab one of the files 32-bit or 64-bit run the version that you need for your operating system I'm going to run 64-bit and as mentioned as you can see it's portable no installer it's going to detect and see if you can find them now here's an important thing if you have multiple devices you're going to have to basically, I'm sorry, multiple receivers, you're going to have to remove one of those receivers. You can only do one at a time. And actually, the Logitech unifying software, which we'll be doing a video on shortly, works the same way. It'll connect the mouse, but then you got to run it again and collect, connect the keyboard. So look for that video as well. So do not remove, update, and it's fast. It doesn't take long. As we said, we don't have to do anything. So there you go. Close it. And here's the beauty of it, as mentioned, portable. A portable app means that. You don't have to install it, and when you're done, you can delete the file. So I could actually put this on a thumb drive, as most techs do, and they take it with them so they have it. But all we gotta do is say goodbye. We're done, unless you wanna update your firmware again later, but as we talk about rece receiver firmware, it's probably not done all that often, so you won't need to do it too, too many times. So once again, this page here will be linked to in the video description so that you can download the file, as mentioned, and just follow through step-by-step step on the video. It's pretty easy to do. We appreciate you watching, as always. See ya.